Our journey begins in the cradle of civilization, the fertile land between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. These rivers have been the lifeblood of the region for millennia, but in recent decades, they have also been at the center of a complex dispute among Turkey, Iraq and other countries. In the 1960s, Turkey embarked on a grand project known as the Southeastern Anatolia Project, or GAP. The idea was simple yet ambitious harness the power of the Tigris and Euphrates to irrigate the arid lands of southeastern Turkey and generate electricity. However, downstream, the countries of Syria and Iraq watched with growing concern. They relied heavily on these rivers for their own agricultural and energy needs. As Turkey built dam after dam, the once mighty rivers began to shrink, sparking fears of water scarcity and political tension. Fast forward to the 1990s, the situation escalated. Turkey's construction of the Ataturk Dam on the Euphrates drastically cut water flow to Syria and Iraq. The tension between these nations grew, leading to diplomatic fallout and threats of military action. In the early 21st century, the dispute took a new turn with the advent of climate change. Rising temperatures and unpredictable rainfall patterns exacerbated the water crisis. As the rivers continued to dwindle, the countries found themselves in a precarious situation, grappling with the reality of a future where water could be more valuable than oil. Now, let us revisit the key points we've discussed. The Tigris and Euphrates have been sources of life for thousands of years, yet they have also been sources of tension, as countries compete for their precious waters. Turkey's ambitious gap project in the 60s sparked the initial dispute, which escalated with the construction of the Ataturk Dam in the 90s. Climate change in the 21st century added a new layer of complexity to the issue, intensifying the struggle for water. As we navigate through the 21st century, the Tigris-Euphrates dispute serves as a stark reminder of the geopolitical importance of water resources. It underscores the need for international cooperation and sustainable water management to prevent water from becoming a source of conflict. After all, water is life, and preserving it is preserving our future.